Cedar Town Preserve is in Lebanon Township off of Pleasant Grove Road. There are three potential parking areas for you to use, counting the camper's lot. Um, it is an area we now consider somewhat developed because it offers camping opportunities as well as a site that has hosted organized um, request and requestable programming for the public, including a summer camp. Um, there are about three to four miles worth of trails for you to explore, so it is well worth your time to investigate what Teeter Town can offer. Um, and we'll show you some of the sites. From the parking area at Teeter Town, one will notice the old farmhouse ac across the one field. The farmhouse serves as an impromptu visitor center activity site for our programs at Teeter Town Preserve. If you're coming to this park for a requested or roster program, it is by this stone house that you will probably gather. Um, if you've had kids in our camp programs, you know that the house has also served as the centerpiece drop off location for that camp. So again, when coming to Teeter Town, looking for your program, focus on visiting the Stone House. Prior to county ownership, the portion of Teeter Town along Pleasant Grove Road used to be an operating orchard under the care of a Jehovah Witness retreat. This apple tree is all that remains of that history because one of the things the county had to do upon acquisition since we did not have the labor force required um, to maintain the orchard, we needed to remove all the orchard trees. One was kept as a portion of its history but on this property, both apples and apricots once grew. Unfortunately, all that remains, as said, is this single apple tree just off of the main parking area of the Teeter Town Preserve. In the woodlot behind the main parking area of the Teeter Town Preserve, patrons to the park will find a couple of picnic grove sites. Each site offers a couple of picnic tables as well as barbecue stands for their recreational use. And hopefully in this quiet corner of the park, um, they will not intrude on other patrons or have other patrons intrude on the user. Please, however, remember that all the picnic sites are a carry in and carry out with your refuse. Um, and you can always deposit it in the dumpsters back in the parking lot. Okay, this is the large pond at Teeter Town. Lake Echo Hill, um, you can request a canoe clinic, a fishing clinic. We've done some pond studies here, but the cattails have been growing in, so it makes it a little bit more challenging for the pond studies. Um, but again, it is a catch and release pond for the bass and the sunfish. But this is also the pond that is trout stocked. So if you do come here and have a trout stamp and you catch one of size limit, you are allowed to keep that pond or that fish. Um, but again, it's a nice situated area off the road. Just you can sit at one of the nearby tables and just watch wildlife as well visit the pond because we get herons and other waterfowl visiting the water. Um, and if you're real lucky, we have had history of beavers showing up on this pond, um, but they've never truly stayed. But again, like any other water source, always worth a look because you never know exactly what you might find.
Okay, I'm from the parking lot for the camping area of Teeter Town. You can go back to the road. There is a trail that crosses the road and enters into the woods in that dark spot at the end of the walking path. That is the trail to Crystal Springs. About a three quarter mile trail and you come out in the large field. Bear to the right and you'll enter into the main areas of Crystal Springs. So there is an opportunity for a woodland walk to connect to another county park. Okay, short walk from the camper's parking lot is the woodland tent site offering um, enough space for probably 15 to 20 tents depending on how tight they're packed and what actual size the tents may be. A couple picnic tables, benches, and a couple fire rings exist there. And then on the other side of the service road is the entrance to the lean-to site. Again, can probably accommodate a group of 20 to 25 people. Two fire rings and a barbecue pit are, or stand is offered. Um, commonly used by scout groups, but any organized group may make a request of the site. Three structures on one side, and then what's usually referred to as the leader uh, lean to on the other. And then off in the distance where you see the bright green is actually an open field site for organized groups. So there are technically three sites to be offered for organized groups to do camping here at Teeter Town. What is provided? Um, so because again, wood out in the forest stand is habitat for wildlife. So we provide the wood for the groups so that there is less disturbance to the wildlife. Okay, this is one this is one of the family camping areas at Teeter Town. As you can see, it's actually campsite B for Hilltop. But each site offers a bench, picnic table, a grill, a place where firewood would be stacked for use, but offers probably enough places that three tents can be put up for the patrons. Um, each site par is parallel to this. Um, the only thing is, it is primitive camping. Nearest water is back at the main parking lot of Teeter Town. And it's probably about a half mile walk if you need to go and um, re refill any of your jugs. Um, again, it's a, one of our family sites or primitive camping permitted. And again, it's in the wood lots on the far side of the activity field of Teeter Town. So you are away from the group camping sites and you have instant access to the red and white trails if you wish to do any hiking while you're here enjoying the woods of Teeter Town. This is the brook at the bottom of the ravine in Teeter Town. Um, you can see it's a very rocky stream along its run through the park. Um, there are some significant little drops and scenic drops that occur. Um, you're probably hearing the ramblings of the water as I, even as I speak. Um, but again, it's one of the, my favorite spots in the fall with the fall foliage change as well as the brook. But any time of year, um, it is a nice scenic area. In case people are wondering, um, there are some native brook trout in this creek, as well as many other crustaceans and the aquatic insects. Uh, of the brook trout, I've never seen one, however, be of size limit. 
So it would be a catch and release aspect if you ever did come here to try to fly fish for the brook trout. Um, it is at the periphery of our property. We do own just the other side of the bank on the far side of the creek, but again, somewhere up that little ridge is where the property line occurs, so there are no real crossings that occur along the brook. So it's basically from the roadside that the public gets to enjoy this area. But again, um, please come and visit. Um, this is the brook at the bottom of the ravine of Teetertown, and it's well worth the hike from the main area to come and enjoy the scenery. Right. Teetertown does have history of being part of a mine operation, and that's what this sign does dedicate. This is located in the southeast corner of the property along the, the brook. And on the far side of the brook, if you can catch it in this, behind the trees, there's actually a, a large outcropping of a stone face and that's where a majority of the operation occurred. A lot of this area was shaped by the glacial melts. No part of Hunterdon County actually did exist under glacier. Um, but we are mostly a diabase rock and again it was a common rock used for construction, roadways, um, any time a harder surface needed to be created, uh, diabase is a good choice for that material. So again, there is some history of the operation here. There's the presence of the old quarry site still exists down along the brook of Teetertown. Okay, this is the trailhead for the Blue Trail. Um, it, this is where it comes in off of Teeter Town Road. Um, it's about half a mile or a little more up to the campsites. But from here you can follow these signs. And this is called the Connector Trail down to the Columbia Trail. Um, it's about a mile and a half, it, but it will eventually work its way over to Vernoy Road and the trailhead for the Columbia Trail, which is the seven mile trail into High Bridge. And one can also continue off of that trail with another access point to what is referred to as the Highlands Trail. So if you're looking for a days long hike, you could start at Teeter Town, hike all the way down into Voorhees State Park using the various trail links and make yourself a day's hike. But again, people have also hiked the other way and come into Teetertown via the Blue Trail and taken advantage of the campsites and made a weekend for themselves. It's all the matter of which type of recreation you're looking for, but again, it's one of the possibilities that exists with Teetertown.